So this question wants us to differentiate, so I'm going to use the quotient rule, which is v multiplied with du over dx minus u multiplied with dv over dx and the whole thing over v square. So our u is ln x, our v is x square. So du over dx would be 1 over x and dv over dx is 2x. So now we can just substitute it into the formula. So v is x squared. Multiply with 1 over x. Minus u which is ln x. Multiply with dv over dx which is 2x. And the whole thing over x to power 4. That would simplify to x minus 2x ln x over x power 4. Now you could factorize the x out and that would be 1 minus 2 ln x x power 3. Now let's look at the next question. So we know that the stationary point means that dy over dx equals to 0. So 1 minus 2 ln x over x power 3 equals to 0. I'm going to bring x power 3 to the other side, so that would be 1 minus 2 ln x equals to 0. ln x equals to 1 over 2. I'm going to add exponential to both sides, so that would be exponential of ln x equals to exponential of 1 over 2. Exponential and ln cancels out, leaving us x equals to exponential of 1 over 2. So when x equals to exponential of 1 over 2, y would equal to ln of exponential 1 over 2 over exponential of 1. Like I said, ln and exponential cancels out, so that would be 1 over 2 over exponential. And that would be 1 over 2e. So our coordinates are exponential 1 over 2 and 1 over 2e. Now let's look at the next question. So we know that from the previous question, y equals to ln x over x squared. And the derivative of this equation is 1 minus 2 ln x over x power 3. Since integration and differentiation are inverse functions, when you integrate 1 minus 2 ln x over x cubed, you should get ln of x over x squared. But the question only wants this part, so we have to separate it. So 1 over x cubed minus 2 ln x over x cubed equals 2 ln of x over x squared. So when you integrate 1 over x cubed, you would get x power negative 2 over negative 2. And then I'm going to bring the 2 out, so that would be integration of ln x over x cubed equals to ln x over x squared. So now I'm going to shift them to the other side, so that would be negative 2 integration of ln x over x cubed equals to ln x over x squared plus 1 over 2 x power 2. And then I'm going to bring the negative 2 to the other side. So that would be integration of ln x over x cubed is ln x over x squared plus 1 over 2 x squared and the whole thing over negative 2. Now I'm going to make the denominator the same. So that would be 2x squared ln x plus x squared over 2x power 4 over negative 2. And when you simplify it, you would get 2 ln x 
plus 1 over negative 4x squared plus c because it is an indefinite integral. And now they want us to evaluate it. So our limits are 2 and 1. So we're going to substitute this into 2 ln x plus 1 over negative 4x squared. So that would be 2 ln 2 plus 1 over negative 4 multiply with 2 square minus 2 ln 1 plus 1 over negative 4 1 square and when you put this into your calculator you should get 0 0.1008 which I'm going to round to a 3 significant figure and that is 0 0.101